Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, it has been a while, uh, life's hectic, I've just spent a month in Gibraltar with my girlfriend, uh, it's been a great month, but back to it now on the summer break, so let's go ahead and get some of these tutorials out now. This tutorial is quite an impromptu one, I am planning on doing another one week game challenge, um, I know that those got quite a bit of views, I know people found those really interesting, so I thought I'd figure, you know, sack the tutorials for a minute. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a game, get myself back into this, and I might as well record it while I'm at it. So, um, while I was going along building this game, uh, I figured, okay, this is something I've not actually covered in a tutorial before. Uh, I've mainly covered blueprints, but let's take a look at design for a second today. Um, we're gonna to be talking about level design in this tutorial and how we can go about making a level, um, and making it, uh, you know, basically making a level. Now, the idea behind the game that I'm gonna make is it's an RPG. So it's going to be doing something I've never done before. You're going to be using spells, you're going to be using melee weapons, um, and it's going to be uh, various levels that you create as the, the that the developers created. And then you basically got to adventure through these levels. The idea is that you'll level up, you will gain experience, you'll unlock, uh, uh, there's, there'll be like a skill tree. The idea behind this is a skill tree. So if you fire one fireball, um, you know, the next level might say that it fires a, a, a barrage of three, and then the next level might be that it fires a barrage of five or something like that. Um, so that's what I really want to get done in this next week. Something I've not really tried before. But anyway, back to this tutorial. This is level design. So what am I doing here? Let's pop into perspective view. Now this is what you'll mainly see when you're playing the game. Or oh, well, this is what you will see rather, not mainly. Um, and I can walk around on these platforms. And the idea is now that I'm going to open this up and this will be my level. So I'm building my level at the minute. But I was just thinking to myself, okay, so what I've done is I've made these... Um, oh, excuse me. Just a second, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I've, in SketchUp, I've been making these prefabricated pieces. I'll just drag this on over here. So this is a doorway. Uh, if I go to my game asset folder and open up something like um, the floor piece, that's... Oh, if we just double click on that. So, you know, you got your floor piece here. Uh, and these are basically just a standardized size, so if you get the measuring tool out, I can see here that this is 5 meters by 5 meters. And the doorway, uh, you know, the bottom of it reaches across, again, 5 meters, and its height is 5 meters. So everything's the same size in the 3D modeling program, it doesn't matter what program you use. And then when I import them all in here, you know, it's just a case of dragging and dropping them to lay out a scale of a, of a building. But if you pop into top-down view, and leave it unlit, you'll see that I can very easily line these up here now, so I can see when that's snapped to it. So I can select a whole load of these and just not do that. Hold Alt and Shift and drag them out to the side. And I'll be able to just drag them and just line them up nicely, just like that. And you'll see there, there's no gap there. The seamless texture integrates it all in. Oh, there's a, do I see a gap? There is a gap over there. So I'm just going to grab all these. So can we see that gap? That may have actually just been a graphical error. It doesn't look like there's a gap there anymore. Um, but you can use the various various viewing things here. So I can see that there's a single line there. So actually they are all lined up perfectly. So all of these tiles now will line up. And then I can do the same with walls. I can layer the walls around the outside. I can put the doors across, um, across the pathways. Um, I have a different type of floor that if I pop back into perspective view and drag down one of these floors with a pillar uh, and set the scale to the same scale as those at 1.6 and again just pop into top down view I can just then lay this out line it up nicely like so that's not quite nicely is it <clears throat> You may need to, when you put a new piece in, you may need to drop down the grid positioning size here to a smaller size, and that will allow you to have a more precise um, snapping. Okay, so from the top again, now I'm going to go to the side. So let's go from the right and view this in wireframe. So you can see that it's actually floating above. So if I just line that up with the rest of these, like that and pop back into perspective view, you'll see now that this piece is nicely lined up with everything else. Yep, it's got no textures on it, but that's easily um, sorted out over here. So we can add a texture there, 
and obviously the texture to the pillar part here. So we're going to go texture. Oh no, material. Sorry, material too. So we've got the wall material on that part of the pillar now, and the floor material there. And then I can lay I can lay four of those out to um, create a a pillar in the in the in the way. Uh, so I would just hold Alt and drag it down, and this is going to need to be rotated ninety degrees, oh, or um, two hundred and seventy if you want to go the long way around. I guess. Uh, I seem to have grabbed the wrong, wrong axis there, so there we go. So this isn't as much a tutorial as it is basically a demonstration of Unreal's engine's ability, uh, ease of creation, ease of level creation. Um, I know that there are other ways of doing this. In fact, this is the first time that I've actually started building um, my maps this way, but I'm finding this way much easier than spending a lot of time trying to line things up in a 3D view. If you just use your 2D tools, your wireframes, you're working with a lot less, you're looking at a lot less, and it's actually much easier to build the level. So we can pop back now into a perspective view. And we have a pillar there. So if you were to lay like a bunch of these out in a courtyard, grab four of them and drag that on over. And you'll see now that like the game can really start to take shape. You can build long tunnel ways, you can you can build a whole house. I mean if you build enough parts and sketch up enough walls, different doorways, windows, um, anything like that, you know, you could build an entire house with this method and it would be put together really well. Um, and performance wise, because it's not one big model with a lot of, um, excuse me, with a lot of, uh, I forget what the name of it is now, faces and edges, like, I totally forget what the proper term is. Um, because it's not one big model and it's simply, this, this here is built out of two pieces. This here is built out of this model and this model. Two models with very few edges to them. Um, and it actually it creates a pretty good game. So, I mean, I've got this long walkway now. I've got pillars at the end. I'll be able to add doors and windows and walls to this. Uh, and you'll be able to really see it start to take shape. Um, that's it for this quick tutorial. It was basically just showing you the, the tools, the orthographic views. So, from the top, bottom, uh, left, right, whatever you need to do to, to line it up, basically. Um, and how we can use the wireframe. To line things up and how we can, you know, we can we can have we can use it in lit or unlit mode. Um, and you people with lower end computers may actually find this method of building games uh, less intensive because the computer is not having to render a uh, a perspective view, you know, a full three D view there. Um, so yeah, just a really short one. Uh, if I'm going to be totally honest, this tutorial was more introducing me back into recording these things uh, I need to get some rendering software redownloaded and get these back up on YouTube but yeah uh, but I thought you know instead of just making a test video and deleting it I might as well cover a topic that people might find interesting and maybe useful to some people so thanks for watching guys I really hope this has helped you in some way shape or form please do stay uh, stay tuned for the upcoming seven day game challenge I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good one I've never tackled an RPG before and I really think the concept of loot drops um, equipping equipment, spells, talent trees, all that kind of stuff. I think that's going to be really interesting to build. And uh, as always, you know, leave the comments and I'll be happy to put up the tutorials for them. Thanks very much for watching, guys. As always, leave the channel, uh, leave the video a like. Please subscribe to the channel for the upcoming content, as I've just mentioned. And if you've got any constructive or even uh, if you've got any... Let me rephrase that last part. If you've got any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next video.